So now let's quickly test and see how large this environment is and if it's up to par to the scale and dimension that we set. One of the most important parts is first you build it to the point of reference to the human reference scale you have set in your scene but it becomes very important to quickly jump inside the game and test the scale of your environment by looking at it from the point of view of the player inside the game. That is why I think that using BSP geometry to block in your entire environment is very good because you can quickly prototype and quickly test your environment without having to create it inside a 3D application, having to export, having to import and have to deal with all that at this stage. If we right click and play from here and jump inside the game, right now everything is dark. So what we need to do is we need to add a test light, a lighting that will illuminate our scene that we can quickly test but without having to worry to actually do anything with that lighting yet. So if we right click, go up to add actor, let me move it a little bit over. In your perspective viewport, go to add actor, add light. We have a light placed in our scene. Another way to add a light, a point light inside your scene is if you hold down L key and then left click in anywhere inside the viewport, this will place a light in there as well. It's just another quick way without having to right click. So we have a light, we can see that it's illuminating, uh, but what we need to do is we need to increase the radius. We can go inside the light properties by double clicking or selecting the light and pressing F4. This will give us the same properties window. We can increase the radius through here, but what we could also do is by tapping the spacebar, this will change the gizmo to rotate and then to scale and then back to move. If we go to scale gizmo for our light and if we simply just drag this out and increase, this increases the radius of the point light without having to go into properties and set it. So here we are, we've included our light, we increase the radius and let's build our lights. On the top toolbar you have build lighting, so left click, menu will pop up, make sure that it's set to preview and use light mask and click OK. In less than a minute we have our lights built, uh, we have some errors come up, we can ignore this for now. Uh, when you have a larger scene you need to create a light mass importance volume. What this will do, it will calculate your lighting for your scene in the area that you define the volume in. If you don't set it then the lighting will calculate for the entire environment extending outside the boundaries of your world. Let's go back to the lit mode, let's bring back our red builder brush, click the B key and left click on the cube. So let's change the scale of our red builder brush so it surrounds our environment. So let's go back to the properties and let's set it to 20, 48, 20, 48 and 20, 48. Large enough cube. Now let's go back to our geometry tool and let's just drag some of these a little less because right now it's a little bit too big so we can simply select the bottom drag it up, and let's drag this part out, let's just go around the environment, let's drag this part out. So what we're creating, we're creating a Red Builder Brush template to surround our environment. And then we're going to add a light mass importance volume. This will calculate our light only in that volume. So we have our template created on the left hand side under volumes. If you left click and go to a light mass importance volume, we add it a light mass importance volume right here and if you click the B key to hide the builder brush we have it set. So now let's uh, increase the radius of our light and let's build our light again. Click on the build, make sure it's preview, use light mass, yes, click OK. And close. Let's go to the lit mode and we can see that everything is now a lot better in terms of lighting and a light mass has built before we had some dark shadows and now it's actually calculating the bouncing of the light and let's go right click anywhere inside your environment and play from here and here we can run around the environment we'll take a look at how large this environment actually is run inside see if we need to tweak see if we need to rescale or change anything expand anything 
So this offers you a quick way to take a look at it from a point of view of the player. And this is very important uh, to do in the very beginning stages as you are prototyping and blacking in your environment. And press escape to close that window. And now we have a very basic room blocked in uh, with uh, some test lights and a human scale reference, some additive brushes, some subtractive brushes, and we have our basic room blocked in.